Go buy yourself a pot of flowers, the old man said as the young boy walked past his flower shop. The young boy stopped and turned at the old man and said, Sir, are you trying to sell to me? Yes, little man. Come buy yourself a pot of flowers. But sir, I ain't got no money. Oh, I see. Then I will give you a pot of flowers. Sir, why would you give someone like me a street urchin with no food or water or anything really? I don't really have much of a personality really and you're giving me a pot of flowers because I see something in you that you do not see in yourself. Um, okay, thanks. And he took the pot of flowers and he went away. And he looked at the pot of flowers and he thought, these are lilacs and there's dirt inside and they're growing. Maybe this is an analogy for me in my life. Maybe I'm a lilac. Maybe I need dirt. So he went outside and he got some dirt and he put it in his hands. He's like, okay, now I've got some dirt. Dirt didn't do crap for him. Didn't do anything for him. And he's like, I guess that meant nothing. And he threw the dirt and he kept walking. And then he heard, Come by yourself, a grapefruit. And he looked and he's like, Sir? Come over to my grapefruit stand and buy yourself a grapefruit. And the young boy was puzzled. Why are all these vendors giving him free things? He walked up and he said, Sir, I have nothing to my name except a pot of lilacs. Why would you give me a, a, a grapefruit? Oh, I never said I would give it to you for free. You got to pay. You got to pay me money. But sir, I just told you all I've got is a pot of lilacs. I have no money. Then I'll make you a deal. You give me the pot of lilacs, I give you grapefruit. And he said, Okay. And he made the trade. And as he was walking with the grapefruit, he thought, maybe this is an analogy for my life. The grapefruit has a tough outer thing and then an inside of fleshy juiciness. Maybe that's how I am. Maybe inside I'm, I'm just all flesh and bones. And on the outside I'm just a hard rind. And he thought, no, no, I'm human. That couldn't be right. And he kept walking and he heard, get your friggin' self over here, you little junky boy. And he looked and he saw a big red beard. And he thought, that's a really big red beard. And the, and, the, and the man said, don't stop looking at my beard. Look at my eyes when I'm talking to you, boy. And he said, oh, sorry, sir. And he looked in his eyes. And sure enough, the guy was selling nails. And he said, sir, I, all I've got is a little grapefruit. And, and, and you're selling nails. And he said, I know. That's not what I'm calling you over for. I'm calling you over for because you just walked right through my garden. And I'm sick of it. And the little boy said, but you, you plant in your garden on the walkway where people are walking. I know that. But you still walk through it. And you're being a big sassy baby. You're being a bully to my plants. And the little boy thought, well, I'm so sorry. He said, ah, that's how to eat. Yeah, take some nails. And he gave him some nails for free. And now the boy's walking with a grapefruit and a thing of nails. He's like, what is happening today? This is the wildest day of my life. And he thought, hmm. And he just kind of poked one of the nails in the grapefruit. Poked another one in the grapefruit. And finally... He looked at his grapefruit and it looked kind of like the shape of a virus. When you see like a virus magnified and he thought, hmm, this is curious. And then it hit him in, in the mind. And he realized, ah, oh, that's what this is all about. I'm like a virus because I, I, I uh, infect people in a good way. And that's when all the vendors came around him and hold hands in a circle and said, you finally learned, young street urchin, of the lesson we were trying to teach you. And now you can, you can just start being a little bit better than a stupid little street urchin. And the kid's like, yeah, you're right. I am a, I'm a little stupid kid. No, I'm not anymore because of this lesson you guys taught me. The end. <laughs>